Hey guys, welcome back to another Art Digest video. It's your boy Jalen, and it's really late at night, so I have to kind of whisper into the microphone. So take this as like a ASMR soothing kind of thing. I don't know. <laughs> um, today I wanted to talk about uh, the reality of like career art, right? Because um, I think it's a conversation that nobody really wants to have, but it needs to be had, especially for people that are younger, um, people that are trying to make this a, a side hustle. And um, the first reality that I probably want to talk about is the expectations you'd have of like your friends or your family. Um, so as, as, as supportive as they can be, when you show them a piece that you've worked on, and slaved on for however many hours, the biggest response that you'll probably ever get is, oh, that's nice. Good job. <laughs> uh, that's just kind of how the reality is. So you, you can't live for those kinds of responses. Um, I would just encourage you to seek responses from people that are in the art industry, right? Um, people that are actually working, people that have a career or a, a following kind of established. And if they tell you something... Um, if they tell you like, hey, this looks really good, or hey, you could probably change this design element on your piece, then do that. Uh, listen to what they have to say, because they're actually doing it. Um, but don't like disregard, you know, a friend of yours saying, hey, man, I really like that drawing you did or painting you did. Because those are always nice to hear. But um, it's just like kind of take it with a grain of salt is the main point, I guess, of, uh, of that one. Uh, number two is just uh, take every day as an opportunity to learn take every day as an opportunity to expand your um, creativity and your limits and by that I mean as you guys have probably seen like I am fully transitioned into digital um, I am no longer really doing traditional art stuff I don't really do the the post-it notes that kind of got my Instagram to where it is right now um, I'm, I'm really taking a nosedive into this like crazy world of these high res crazy paintings and and stuff like that and i'm actually like I'm speed lapsing uh the one that's on my instagram right now um and in doing so when you have that fearless capability when you're able to just kind of go in and, and do whatever you want um you're able to release yourself of a lot of stresses and you're really able to just kind of create and uh, rely on what you know um, and that brings me to my next point which is if you're really trying to get into career art um, maybe making it a side hustle uh, trying to submit things to editors submit things into art contests then you have to do the groundwork and there's a lot of different elements to groundwork um, there's understanding the basics of anatomy. There's understanding the basics of um, proportions and angles and composition, color theory, all these things <clears throat> that if you don't have a, a basic understanding of that, it's going to be really hard for you to kind of take that leap and just, you know, take that, you know, uh, chance on yourself because you want to be as confident. Um, and when you don't have that confidence, it comes out in your art. So, putting in the groundwork is, is really, really important to do as far as, like, career art goes. And then the, uh, probably the last point or last little ramble is just, uh, understanding that it's going to take a long time. <laughs> the patient game, right? Um, I'm not where I want to be right now. I have a minuscule following at best uh, on Instagram, and, um, I have a pretty decent Facebook following, but, uh, you know, when you, when you put stuff out there that you feel really proud of and you're not getting a lot of reach, you're not getting a lot of um, uh, engagements uh, and stuff like that, and you're doing it consistently, there's always that point where you, that wall, right? It's that, that barrier that you hit, and you're like, man, this, is, this sucks. You know, I've been at this for, you know, however long, and I think my art's pretty good, and you start kind of downing yourself. But the thing that you have to remember is that it's always going to take a long time with anything that you do. Um, I'm like, you know, almost my fifth or sixth year into, into 
college education and I still have I'm still not doing what I wanted to do because I'm in a master's program right so it's just understanding that patience with yourself and trusting the process as uh, a lot of coaches say nowadays um when you're able to do that it's a uh, it's a really good time and you're gonna feel really good afterwards so uh just definitely do that <laughs> so I'm gonna time lapse this thing uh hope you guys enjoy the video and have a good day The summer's calling The summer's calling If the kingdom is overthrown Meet me at the cornerstone I know that I can't be without you This bond is solid gold We're a diamond and an emerald it took me forever to find you Cause when it's all over The love that you give Will be there to guide you in every way Now we've been Through the cold and darkest day The summer's calling But 